gentlemen, Damien Lewis is still here, and I'm going to get my next guest right out there. She has it all, a fabulous voice, a unique style, platinum and selling albums, and now she has a Brit Award as well. Please welcome the fabulous Paloma Faith. <laughs> It's been ages oh, since I saw you. I well, do I go there? Yes, yeah. you go here, please. You take oh. the pole position right there. Thanks. Paloma, uh, well, here she is, the best British female solo <laughs> artist at this year's Brits, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. <laughs> Long overdue, because uh, you've been nominated a couple of times in the past, haven't you, for that award? Yeah, that was my fourth nomination. Wow. And that's me bawling my eyes out. Uh, the previous years, when you didn't go home with it, yeah. did you have speeches ready then? Had you already thought through no, what you were going to say? No, I, I didn't have a speech ready um, that night. I don't think... I think, basically, well, I was at the table and as my category was getting closer, like, people's body language was shifting and around me and, like, my manager just sort of grabbed my hand, who, incidentally, I forgot to thank, like, was the one person I was supposed to thank. But I was in such a frenzy of weirdness that I was like... Ugh. And he sort of just grabbed my hand reassuringly and went, take your time. Like that. And I was like... <laughs> and then I started frantically writing names of people on a piece of paper. That, so did that he I know then? Probably... Is that means he knew you'd won? I think, think he knew by that point, yeah, but... I, I didn't know, and then I was, like, writing names and I was, like, in a panic and I forgot. And you get, like, really kind of overwhelmed and it becomes a bit of a blur because, like, I just had no idea. And I've also... I'm a person who just never expects to win anything because I've actually never won anything ever, what? including a raffle ne or, like, <laughs> a £10 lottery ticket. Not or even anything. when you were a kid? Not even when you were little? I've never... I think I won one um, egg painting competition at oh. Easter. <laughs> and, and, and did, you, did you thank your manager back then, or was that...? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the speech I thought was lovely. The speech you made at the Brits I thought was really... It, it sounded so genuine and it was clearly so emotional. it was. Yeah. And the speaking about... I mean, it was remarkable. Talk, you, you spoke about having been in Hackney before and being arrested yeah. for fly-posting your own gigs, which I, I never knew that happened to you. That must have been scary at the time, being arrested. Well, for... my mum loves to bring me down the peg, so she took great pride in reminding me after that, you were not arrested, you were cautioned. <laughs> but I was like, oh... <laughs> All right, but it sounded better to say arrested. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, let me ask you about your mum. You mentioned your mum there. You said she brings mm. down to earth. So, uh, and I know she, you had quite an unusual upbringing, didn't you? Yeah, my mum's like unusual. I don't know. Like my mum's very imaginative. She used to. She was quite a sort of. She's an optimist, and she's like really creative. And I think the, the older I get, the more I'm turning into her. But like she used to like do stuff like make a little restaurant on on the pavement for me to have dinner <laughs> and she'd pretend it was a restaurant because she'd like we'd go out to a restaurant tonight and i'd get so excited and she'd make one like on the pavement in hackney like a little table with a tablecloth flower and she'd my mum like was working full time so there wasn't much time to cook so she used to cook me pretty much the same meal every night which was like some pasta with tomato sauce and she'd come out and make it seem so exotic with a tablecloth like over her arm and she'd be like so madame this evening we have the special pasta <laughs> with a fresh tomato sauce <laughs> tinned by the way <laughs> um, but, like, and she'd make it like can i take your order and I, I just thought it was like my whole world was so like as a kid i just was mesmerized by how brilliant life was and literally when i look back it was all kind of from my mum's brilliant imagination that's so lovely though that but, is so and lovely. i went out i went on holiday with a the day after the Brits, and she really struggles with, like, my mum's a proper kind of people person, like, socialist and, you know, everything, the most PC person ever. And we walked into the hotel that I booked, which I have to say, I consciously didn't book anything too posh because I knew my mum would be upset. And she, we opened the door and she goes... <laughs> I've got to say it now, I'm uncomfortable with your lifestyle and I'm uncomfortable with how relaxed in it you are. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And she was like, that breakfast buffet is out of this world. <laughs> 
<laughs> is she the sort of uh, mother who is desperate for you to have your own children so she can be a grandmother, yeah. or is she happy that the careers and she's focused on the career for you? Um, well, there was one tour that we did where um, I found my mum like in catering because we travel with caterers, like because there's so many people working on it. Um, and she, I, I, after I got off stage one day, I found my mum in, in the catering, eating like a, a sort of white bread sandwich, talking to the woman who prepared it, saying, I mean, it's all bloody fair and good, this fame thing, but I haven't got any grandkids. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, don't worry. I was like, mum, let's get out. <laughs> <laughs> so she's keen for that. She's working yeah. on you for that. She's okay. she's just like, you've done it now. You've done it now. You can add that to your list. And like before this album came out, I think I've said in a few times, my mum was like, if it doesn't go well, you can rent your spare room out. <laughs> <laughs> so well, so that was my got plan B. Here's the current album. This is the perfect contradiction. This has been out for a while, and it's been a huge sell, hasn't it? Yeah, it's done quite well. Yeah. Uh, and That's you have... the Outsiders edition. So it's got. Extra Some stuff. new songs. It's got the new single, which is coming out now. Yeah, well, we have a Beauty clip. Remains. This is uh, Beauty Remains for Paloma Faith, and it's lovely. So a lot of your songs, I noticed on that album, a lot of your songs recently have, they've been about breakup, they've been about heartache, mm. they've been about those things, which are great topics for songs, of course. But you're with someone at the moment, you have a man yeah. in your life, so things are pretty good, you don't have that actually going on. I'm really, really, really happy, and I don't have anything to moan about. So I'm trying now to write... I've started my new album, I'm trying to write songs that aren't about love or heartache, which is really challenging. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of more important... Not more, but as important things going on in the world. So if you're not worried about those, because that's what, you know, love songs tend to have that element in there. You yeah. can, I suppose you can write one saying, I'm, I'm just really happy right now, but that isn't, doesn't tend to be as interesting, does it? I don't think so. But no. I, I, when I, I actually worked with Pharrell on this album and I spoke to him um, before Happy was, like, really big and he was like, I, I'm just happy and... I just want to sing about being happy. And he did really well at it, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> but we all just loved it. But when you and put I it like, like that, he makes him sound quite annoying, doesn't it? <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> like, he said, oh, people are always now. moaning. I was like, oh, I was going in, I was like, I'm a queen of tragedy, I'm dark, I just want to struggle. And he was like, no, I, I just want to be really happy. I'm so happy I'm going to wear a silly hat and get away with it. <laughs> No, I was talking about the Bond movies, and I know you recently put out there how much you'd love to do a Bond, Bond theme song. Thing. Which would be, of course, a great thing. Like, yeah, look, there's me saying, I've been waiting patiently to be able to sing the next theme. I, I've taken so much inspiration now, but you see, that's unusual, because that... I mean, that, this place, that's a bit needy, you putting it out there. <laughs> do you know what I was, I was um, saying the other day? It's like, it's really weird in a sort of celebrity culture that it's like... Everyone's got to sort of pretend that everything's like that. Like yeah. people are shocked at my speech that I was actually pleased because everyone's sort of got to pretend that it's like, oh great, thanks, yeah, Brit Award. Like, no, I've worked for ages to get that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Yeah. And it's like, why can't I just go? Well, I'd really like to do this as yeah, well. Yeah. Like, it's all this sort of pretending to be cool. I want everyone to know I'm not cool <laughs> and I'm happy not to be cool. And I also know that I'm not going to be singing the bomb because I've found out that I'm not going to be singing uh, the Well, because I, well, I thought maybe you had... Because I knew that you'd been out doing a, a secret track in LA and I thought maybe this was it. No. <laughs> Stumped. All right. Um, <laughs> now, I read this, I don't think it's true, that obviously, I know, I've seen you perform live, you sang live on the show last season, and it was mm. incredible. Um, but you, obviously, when you're doing a video, or sometimes when you're doing TV appearances, sometimes people ask you to mind. Well, I know, I only got asked to mind once in my career, and they've never asked me again, because I just can't do, I can't lip sync. This was the Alan Titchmar show, I believe. Yeah. They kept cutting to my band, because my sick lips kept going out of sync with the music. Right, so you just can't do it. So if I was to play so a bit now... And ask you to lip sync, even though it's your own song, you might not be able to do it. I might not be able to. I, I'll, I'll try. Okay, well, let's see where, how good you are. Damien, are you any good at lip syncing? Lip syncing? Yeah. 
Maybe. Let's see, okay. I okay. don't know. Well, let's see. We've got other woman. Okay, here we go. So let's play. Oh, The thing is, is when you like, because if you write them, you've got creative license. So if I make a mistake, I can just swap them for another line. So That's if you're what singing live, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah but yeah. like with that, you've got to be right. And, and when you sort of go, ah, 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 you've got to remember where you did that. And yeah. it's like, I can't remember where I did that. So I just can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Damon, Which proves sorry. it's always live. Yeah. Damon, we got one for you. Uh, oh. We got with a foreigner track because we figured. A foreigner track? Yeah, yeah, we figured that. Let's be age appropriate. Start at the top. And, uh, is he getting the words? This is. I, well, should we give him the words or not? I what? would say so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this is the classic I Want to Know What Love Is. A great Where are song. we starting? Imagine if Damien had been the lead singer of Foreigner. Here we go. Yeah. In my life, oh, yes. There's been heartache and pain. <laughs> Hey, Brian. Oh, I enjoyed that. Uh, Thank you. Tell Brian Ferry you can go home. <laughs> uh, wow, that was pretty exciting. That was good. Yeah. You are Thank such you a me. ham when you do that. So I, I, do that. <laughs> I love a bit of karaoke. Uh, Paloma, I'm so pleased you're on it. You so deserve it. And it was so lovely to see you get it and, and be Thank so you. excited yeah, here, to receive here. it. And it was a genuinely lovely moment. And I can't wait for the new album, the happy album, as we'll call it. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Paloma Faith. Hey. And thank you so much for coming on tonight. Thank thank you. Really wonderful. Can you uh, ask me if I'm going to stick around? <laughs> yes, I want you to stick around. You going to stick around? No. Yes, you are. I'm off. Me and Josh were talking backstage about how funny it would be because you always say, Are you going to stick around? Okay. You always say. Well, I'll ask you again. Are you, no. you going to stick around? No. <laughs> <laughs>